Hello you beautiful people, welcome back to the channel, today we're going to play some Hitman 2! So it took me a while to actually get this game, if you've been on the channel for some time now, probably like a few months I guess, then you know I play Hitman 1, I will put a link to that playthrough in the description of this video if you want to see me be a terrible Hitman for the first time there, but uh, yeah, I'm a terrible Hitman in these games and they're just so fun to play, so I figured I might as well play Hitman 2, since a uh, few people wanted it also. But anyway, I hope you enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe if ready, and let's get into this glorious game. Let's go! Okay, so um, so there's I got every mission from what I see. See, I mean, yeah, I got every mission pretty much. I just don't got these special things you need to buy. But um, so this first mission right here, it's basically just a tutorial kind of thing. We are going to skip out of that one. I already know this tutorial stuff is probably going to show up anyway. So, you know what, we're just gonna go do this, cause this mission just mainly has me going to a place, yada yada yada, I gotta find something, then targets arrive, and it's just pretty boring. But this one is very interesting, so, let's get into this one. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tungyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally broke the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold, and so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. Yes, we must prepare to uh, murder these poor souls. Who we're definitely going to feel remorse for when I kill them. Hey, so, um, I went and did that first mission so that I could actually get to level 2 so I could actually have some things. But it turns out I can only smuggle weapons in to actually like get things in here. So yeah. Um Yeah yeah, frisk me, touch me all over, do whatever you like. I don't actually mean literally touch me all over. If you touch me down, I'm gonna kill you. You better keep your hands away from there. Thank you. Or shove that gun up your ass and shoot the gun. It'd be very painful. But, uh, yeah, we'll get the job done. I don't exactly know where I smuggled my gun in from. It's some underground place, but, uh, yeah, I don't really know where it is. But we're gonna go kill Sierra Knox first. I first gotta get my gun first, but I don't know where it is. I found this shithead. Hey there. Please behave. Fuckhead. Alright, well now where is this vehicle that has my gun in it? Is it this? Is it here? Uh, yes it is. Sweet. I'm also gonna take this. Alright, so um... First, well, we're just gonna go after her, but I need to do the perfect machine or find that racing one. Where is that? Um, I don't think it's in the mission stores or Intel or anything like that. Like, we need to actually be there when the race starts, pretty much. 
But, um, yeah, I don't exactly know how I'm supposed to do. Oh, never mind, I found out where she is. Ooh, a medic poison. Ooh, a screwdriver. Oh, I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> oh, but I am supposed to be here of my own accord. Now, where is Sierra Knox at, actually? Is she actually racing, or is she not? Oh, no, no, she's racing. Yeah, she's racing. Come here, See Sierra. See that red car, 47? That's the Kronstadt race car with Sierra Knox behind the wheel. Damn it! I s I'm a shitty aim! Okay, I can't shoot for shit. Yes! Ooh! <laughs> Gotcha, bitch! But you know what? <laughs> Since I'm here, I might as well destroy the other ones. Oh, I happy. I was. <laughs> hey, where's the other cars at? Are they gonna come through here or are they like actually done? I mean, I'd be done too if this is what I just saw. Yeah, I think they're done. Yeah, they are. Oh, I didn't see you here, buddy. So, uh, I don't know if you saw what I did, so, uh... No witnesses. On the racetrack you go! Down there you go! Are they gonna see the body? No, they aren't. Oh. Well, time to go kill Robert Knox! Oh, this is the one way to kill him that I know of. Well, there's a whole bunch of ways, but I mean, um, yeah. This is kind of my favorite way to kill him. I've seen people do do this one a few times, and I just love it. So, yeah, we gotta go over there. Oh, I'm trespassing this again. Uh, I know I'm trespassing. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I, I know I'm trespassing. No, I left. I left. I'm not trespassing. I'm not in combat. What are you talking about? Well, of course I'm not there. I bolted like the fucking flash. What would you think I do did? Do did? Okay, that's English now. Definitely. I'll call you after the presentation. Speak then. Come on, my clock time's running out. Let's go, buddy boy. Do I have fiber wire? Um, I don't have fiber wire. That sucks. That's like my silent kill way. Ooh, if you actually go over there, I'm pretty sure I can find something to, um, you know, kill you with. Ooh, I think there's a grinder nearby. Ooh, is that a grinder? <gasps> oh, it's a grinder! Jesus. Hello? Is anyone there? It's me, buddy. Yeah, it's I'm me. So tired. I don't, need this don't worry, buddy. I'm gonna take your place. Come on now, let's get you all the way over here. Ready to be mulched up like the piece of shit you are. Mmm. You're gonna be delicious. For the fish, I mean. Not for me, because I don't like to eat people. Now, buddy, time to shred you! That's so fucking dark. <laughs> well, since that civilian is there, I, uh... If the civilian's still there, I kind of got to kill him, too. I didn't want to get you, I wanted to get that civilian, but hey, I'll take you instead. You also got a gun, which is good for me, so... I'm gonna take out the old uh, crowbar and give you a bit of a knock on the head. You'll be most alive! Yeah. 
Most alive! <laughs> Get shredded, buddy! Mmm, delicious! <laughs> okay, it's time to go and kill Robert Knox. Mr. Mendes, oh. you have an appointment oh. that stays with Mr. Knox. Oh. oh, it has a lens on it, that's cool! Well, since we can actually do that, it's time to test out how good it actually is. Now, lady, you're my test subject. Okay, fine. It's more than just the lady. It's all of you. That's so cool. I love it. Now I'm just doing this for fun. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Get over here, buddy boy. All right, time to pull out a gun. Where's my gun? Okay, I'll take this one instead. No, who's shooting me? <laughs> there was a flashbang in me. Okay. Robert Knox. Hello there, sir. I don't got a, do I got a picture of anything? Mr. Mendes. I want to find a picture of him. Because there's a way to do it, but I don't know how to kill him. There's pictures there, but there's also a picture of him lying around. Just don't know where the hell to find it. Oh, what's this? Collecting pictures of celebrity nice. Now 47. I found it. What are you thinking? Oh, you know, just a little game of, uh, kill your master. That's what I like to call it. I like to call it Mr. I like to call the game of kill your master. Ooh, what's this? Oh, so I can just watch him die, pretty ah, much. Didn't finally see you. Guess traffic was rough. Ah, never mind. Yeah, really Let me rough. Show you, everything. you wouldn't believe the amount of blood on the ground. Ted. War is going out of fashion. It's dirty. It's just plain bad PR. Nobody wants to exchange their children and loved ones for flags and medals anymore. The glory is gone, Ted. But luckily, Kronstadt has a solution for that. Oh god. Android infiltrators operating in the field, disguised and fully embedded, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Indestructible robotic operators who can infiltrate the deepest sanctuary of any adversary. Okay, so am I playing Fallout 4 now? Fatal blow. A surgical tool for a blunt world. Imagine Sounds like a good weapon to have in my arsenal. Fully equipped android medics seeking out servicemen and injured civilians bringing them to safety or patching Killing who we need to get killed android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory with uncanny precision and minimal collateral damage all right Mendez, it's hmm. very straightforward let me show you i just pick any of the pictures on the desk then i use the scanner to upload the biometric data and palace will do the rest has to know which one it is because they all look like Daniel. Like they're all identical, like there is no differentiation between them. They're all freaking identical. Oh, one of them has a fucking B, a C, and A. That's all that's different about them. Alright, well, um uh, photo of Robert Knox. What? No, that's gonna get me killed. Palace is entirely Bye bye. What the hell? Both targets down. They're That's why I don't trust technology. And we'll speak again soon. All right. Well, since I kind of killed Robert Knox, uh, I want to see what it does if I scan my ID. <laughs> All right. Scan ID now. Is he gonna just turn around and kill me? Oh no. I don't. I, I don't know if that's I don't know if that was a good idea. Oh, it can't find me. That's cool. Okay, well uh Understood. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna kill you're gonna go shoot him again now. Why is everyone freaking out? Cause the dead body Uh I did that's not me. I definitely didn't kill him. 
Oh my god, like Zeke said, I don't listen to your damn music! It's annoying! I don't care if I got found out. I'm just doing what Zeke asked me to do in Infamous 2. I don't want to be forced to listen to their damn music. I did take his outfit. Did I do it because I wanted it? Uh, partly. <laughs> I killed so many innocent people, it's not even funny. The new army, it's complete. I surprisingly didn't kill a lot as I wanted to before, but, you know, at least I'm not getting a score of zero, or am I? Straight shot? Oh god, I'm not a good shot. Oh, that's a good amount of XP. Nice! Ooh! Oh, I don't know what that was I did. Okay. Alright, we're, we're gonna go do another way to kill them, so let's go into this one. This should be really fun now. So, uh, we're doing another way to kill Sierra Knox, and, um, if you remember this buddy boy over here, he's supposed to be mean her, so, uh, is anyone around? No? Hey there, buddy. Uh, do you got anything on you that I can keep? Nope. Well, oh, well. Oh, what's going on over there? Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go this way then. <laughs> I killed the guy who did it. <laughs> well, actually, you better, you better yet, um. Uh. It's better no witnesses and anybody knows about this. Thank you. And where's the car? Okay, there it is. You parked in a fucking handicap spot? Are you stupid? Isn't it common sense to not park there? You didn't just park in a handicap spot, you took freaking two spots! <laughs> Isn't it common sense to not do that? What a disappointment! That's it, Moses. Moses Lee and Team Cowboy. Nice outfit. Really brings out your eyes. Shut up. She has to make sure you brought the documents. So, did you bring the documents? I have the papers, I don't know, did right? I? Excellent. Come on in. Have a seat or something. I'll let Mr. Knox on you again. So far, so good, 47. Now, let's see where this meeting is headed. I don't know where it's gonna start. I'm just gonna... I don't really know where she's gonna go, so... So, uh, you here for a job application or what? Something like that. Nice. If you don't mind me saying so, your particular choice of attire is maybe a little, I don't know, off? For a job interview, I mean. Nice suit, is that the cleaners? And you couldn't find anything else to wear. Correct. You must lead a very interesting life, my friend. You I do. No idea. A lot of blood, and a lot of people die. Well, now that you know that, you're gonna have to die now, so, um... Good job! <laughs> Woo! She better get here fast. Looking ravishing. So, Mr. Hmm. I never did catch your name. Names are for friends. Very well. Straight to the point in all business. Walk with me. Where are we going? That's what I do. What You're part of my do? business. Kill you in broad daylight. If you know what I mean, not sexually. I basically mean I'm gonna kill you. Sensitive business like this in front of an audience. Good idea. Silent attack. So just to get this straight, oh. you claimed in your email to have somehow found internal reports that show Kronstadt's involvement in the Tungan Valley Massacre. Sounds about right. Let's be clear. You and I are having this meeting because my father doesn't need to know about this. 
It's just another undesired distraction. I don't care if the information is true or false. I don't care if it mentions moving money from the Nexus project into Tungan Valley damage control, as you claimed in your correspondence. I do care about protecting my father, which is why you and I are now here. I see. Leave me alone for a few minutes, guys. Sure thing. Oh, they'll leave you alone. One way or another. You hand over the documents and leave, and that's the end of it. And you will do that now. Okay, but do you want me to leave you a little parting gift? Huh? Oh, hey, you forgot something. So here are the two possible outcomes of this meeting. One, you will leave this place and this country for good, and that will be the end of it. Everyone lives happily oh. ever after. Two, I was just gonna kill you, you with the explosives. One. Someone dies. Right huh? Goodbye. I was gonna blow you up, Next but that's time, even better. Time to go. I expect this to be a lot better than it actually went, but this is a, just a really boring way to go down there. <laughs> All right, well, um, I'm just gonna, um, if anyone goes down, they're just gonna die. Work. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll be fine after I'm done with this fuck. Think fast, fuck! Shit! Knocks his head! Fuck! Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. Let's get out of here. Where's the exit? Oh, it's right over there. Well, since I'm about to leave, uh... You know, screw it. I'm, I'm gonna go... I'm just gonna go loud. Everyone should die. Everyone must die. You must all fear me. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm out. I'm out. Berlin. Shanghai, Montreal, we're bleeding operatives, panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor, he would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadow boxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, 
I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God. This hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. Alright guys, this was the first Hitman 2 video. I really hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't I'll see you all next time. I really enjoyed recording this. Like, I haven't had that much fun playing a game in a long time, actually. Hitman 2 is just really fun. There's so many opportunities to do things. And I just really love these Hitman games. I forgot why I love them, but now I remember. I'm sorry about this video being long if it's long. I really just got too into the game to the point where I just lost track of time. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time, and goodbye.